Hello guys, greetings from Iceland. We are in Blue Lagoon. And I can show you a volcano from here. So, Blue Lagoon is open as you see. It opened yesterday, yesterday morning. Uh, it's already the second day as it's open and now I'll show you the volcano. You see it's uh, not that far from here, five kilometers. There you see it shooting lava. <laughs> from invisible from Blue Lagoon unbelievable uh, hey you see a shooting lava there up in the air so you don't really need to to go to the volcano you can just come to Blue Lagoon and see it uh, from Blue Lagoon balcony like where I am is anybody can come here you see like on the balcony on the second floor and I can also see it, I think, from, maybe not from the first floor. You would have to come to the second floor to see it. Because uh, it's not visible from the first floor, maybe. I'm not sure, I'll go down and check it for you. But it's kind of special. Never, never seen a volcano from Blue Lagoon. Uh, the lava. It's only five kilometers from here by straight line maybe even less maybe four yeah you see the lava is going in the air unbelievable but you know it's not the same what it was on the first day when we had the fish shoe. 3.5 kilometers long now it's just as uh, i think two creatures two or three creatures uh, but a few two more to the north not sure if they if they are still active but but this is the biggest cone and uh, it's very special uh, blue moon is full of people as you see you don't see this anywhere, like human activities uh, right next to the volcano, erupting volcano, like people bathing in the spa, and there you have a few kilometers volcano erupting, shooting lava in the air. I think this is the only place in the world like that. And, uh, Zoom again. I have 20 times zoom, it's such why with normal phone you can't zoom that well. You see volcano, you see people bathing, there you see erupting volcano. Uh, it's a question how long will it last nobody really knows uh, very likely it might last for some days more a few days more maybe a month maybe two two months like 54 days last last month it, the last eruption lasted 54 days so this one might last similar similar time perhaps even longer very hard to say, very hard to say, because it's erupting at the same place as last time, more or less. And, uh, yeah. So, and they are working on the walls uh, right next to the Blue Lagoon, Blue Lagoon Parking. Uh, they are raising the walls or closing the the passage there that's why we had to park next to silica hotel and from silica hotel it's 10 minutes walk to the spot of the lagoon itself so now instead of walking for five minutes we have to walk for 10 minutes to reach blue lagoon
many Chinese tourists still. Uh, I think half of visitors speak Chinese. <clears throat> but uh, most of people I came with, I had 12 passengers, they were all from the US, except two from Shanghai, China. But here you see the group of Chinese. So Blue Lagoon is full of people and very lively. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't expect to see so many people during the volcanic eruption. This is a meeting room. Blue Lagoon, Iceland. So I'll show you what what we have to walk now instead of um, so now we have to walk from there like from Silica Hotel uh, through the lava fields uh, 10 minutes and to reach Blue Lagoon but it's kind of nice walk scenic walk because you walk through those between those pools uh, uh, and it's uh, people enjoy it Like 99% of visitors are foreigners, of course. Uh, very few Icelanders here. Uh, it's chilly today in Iceland. Maybe 9 degrees Celsius, but you have to wear a jacket. It's Iceland in the summer, most of the summer. Uh, here we have to wear jackets. It's not. Italy here. <laughs> there are so even small kids uh, visiting Blue Lagoon. Uh, with parents, of course. So this is Iceland today on 2nd of June. Oh, it's already the third of June. Sorry, always get confused with dates. I'm, I'm, I'm out of touch with time. <laughs> yeah. So, Blue Lagoon is open. You know, it's important for Iceland government to have this facility running. But now there is no danger, of course. Uh, well, if lava makes it to Blue Lagoon, they have a special road to evacuate to the west, uh, which joins Nesvegur, west of Grindavik. So, if lava comes from the side of uh, <coughs> of the volcano, what is unlikely, at least for now, but you never know. Uh, the chamber had been emptied. The balloon exploded, all the air went out, lava, I mean. <laughs> now it's, uh, the earth sank down by 15 centimeters. And uh, there is no more lava in the magma chamber to generate uh, flow big enough to, to reach the lagoon. It's just, you know, it will be spilling around the crater five kilometers away, you know. That group is from Nice Travel. I used to work in that company for two years. Shops are full of people also.
it's not cheap signature mask uh, price two hundred fifty dollars now it's four, four four by four for this you see two hundred fifty dollars it's just crazy signature masks uh, this one is about hundred dollars still it's very expensive a uh, cup blue lagoon cup uh, how much is the price it's forty dollars <laughs> for this thing like forty dollars it's insane look let's let's see this blue lagoon is it price for this there is no price for this no it's five thousand nine hundred it's also forty dollars. This carpet, this this one costs one hundred eighty dollars. Small one scarf, fifty dollars. Some swimming suits here for uh, eighty dollars. This one. No. Cream, well, fifteen dollars for for solar protection cream. Well, you don't need this in Iceland. There's not much enough sun here. Well, this is hundred dollars for this. Yeah. Socks for twenty-five dollars. Keeping Iceland warm since 1926. It's 66 North brand. I don't like the number 66. <laughs> it's six. Just add one more six, and you have the number of the of the beast, you know, from Revelation. So it's not a good sign. Sign to like it's not a good idea. At least for many people. At least me, I wouldn't buy 66 products because of that. It's kind of lame a little bit to, to choose this brand. But it's popular in Iceland. Mm, this is Grand Goose Jacket, Canada Goose. I don't know the price, just curious. It's, it's 244,000. It's insane. It's a uh, it's uh, 1,500 dollars or more for this jacket. Wow. This thing. Like for the hat, the small one, you know, forty dollars. Blue Lagoon Iceland. Well, it's not not for my pocket, at least not now. <laughs> Maybe one day, but still, I wouldn't buy. Why to waste money just like that? You see, this is a new pathway. See, this one, we used to walk here, like five minutes to the buses, but now it's no entry because they're doing the works there. They are raising the walls. So we have to walk now this way. You hear the noise there? Yeah, so... I will show you the works uh, which they are doing uh, outside there. Excavators raising the walls uh, of the Iran Bulagund. I think they are locking the wall from that side where we used to have a parking. Uh, 
voor, um, voor de basses. It's a really nice walk. Do not walk on the mass. You can't see here the works, but um, maybe from some. But anyway, you see, you hear the you hear the machinery working there. They just uh, the trucks are coming with rocks and making the wall higher. They're locking it and uh, some wind here as always. It's ice line. Yeah, they were there, so I can go there. Anyway, wish you all the best, guys. Greetings of Iceland from Iceland. God bless.